I'm a, actually the co-convener of uh, EcoTrans, and at, at the moment we're fighting on a, a lot of fronts, um, and WestConnex is one of the biggest ones that we're fighting on. EcoTransit uh, got its start uh, out of the struggle to stop the F5 freeway going through the Walleye Creek Valley and it remains the longest sort of single conservation fight in Sydney's history. Uh, it's gone on for 40 years and we can't be sure with West Connex on the agenda and quite possibly coming up at the western end of the valley and, and ripping up a whole bit of the western end of the valley, we can't be sure that that fight uh, is yet over for the Walleye Creek Valley. One of the important things that happened along the way uh, was that um, we were put in the know about a proposal from Railcorp and a private company um, that they had as a sort of alternative to the freeway plan as it then was, it hadn't been then constructed. And that was to build an airport rail line, underground airport rail line. And when that came along, we seized that with both hands and, and ran with it, that alternative, which is a very important thing. Um, the alternative was very acceptable to most people. Its environmental effects were absolutely minimal. Um, it, it, when the EIS came along, I think there were about four or five submissions and none of them were completely opposed. You know, there were a few people who suggested that this or that minor change. So it was something that sailed through the planning process thereafter and actually got built before the uh, M5 tunnel came along. So they, it put back the M5 tunnel for a long time and it meant ultimately the long fight to save Walleye Creek meant that um, when the road finally arrived, uh, it wasn't eight lanes, it was four and it went underground. So what I want to do is just run through uh, what West Connects is. And uh, what you can see here is this is the first uh, sort of iteration of West Connects that came along in three stages. Stage one, this is the first planning maps that they showed us. This is stage, uh, stage one. Uh, stage two down here is the bit that we're uh, concerned about in, in this area primarily. And then there was this section here, this tunnel section. Anything in dotted line there is of course tunnel. That was the first iteration of the whole thing. And you've got to understand that they're really groping. They're, they're making this up as they go along. They want to build a road. There are forces pushing for a road. The road transport industry wants a road. The tollway companies in particular, who have enormous influence in uh, infrastructure in New South Wales and the West Connects Delivery Authority, they want a road. And as we'll see, the uh, property developers also want a road because they're hoping to use this road uh, to change the whole nature and character of, of Sydney. So what we're up to now is that the route has now significantly changed through here and you'll notice that they've now, they're adding bits on all the time now. Uh, this bit here is the bit that's going to come out in uh, Rockdale, somewhere near perhaps uh, 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 Bestick Street. That's the, the Rockdale loft lamp, new con proposed connection under consideration. That's why they were drilling down there in the wetlands. And up here, running underneath uh, Annandale, another link bringing it up to White Bay, and there are now even more bits being added. This would be the longest and largest underground tollway system anywhere in the world, and one of the most expensive roads ever, ever constructed. Now this came out today, uh, the Long Term Transport Master Plan 2012. This, this map only saw the light of day today. And you can see there, that's that, um, this is their uh, long-term master plan version for Sydney's uh, vision, for Sydney's motorway network. And it includes some, some additional bits. It includes the, um, the transformation of a number of roads down here into motorway sort of standard, including parts of uh, um, the foreshore road along here. There's that uh, connection coming down from uh, underground connection that would come up somewhere just past the Eve Street wetlands to there. And you can, this, is, this whole bit here 
number, mark number 10 is the F6 corridor and A1, A3 and A6. There are also added now some new sorts of sort of freeway connection between Port Botany and, uh, and up here onto the underground section through there. To the bit going underneath Annandale, they've now 